How's it going guys? Captain Otter here at Gamescom where I'm at one of my favorite booths of course by Wargaming. And every year in addition to their awesome games, they do have some interesting experience. Last time we had a crazy VR experience. This time we've got World of Tanks VR and we've got Constantine who's the product manager for it. Um, tell me, how did all of this start? Well, to make a long story short, basically several years ago we've started to think about recreating World of Tanks in virtual reality. It took us a while to be honest, it was not that an easy task. We faced a lot of issues in terms of game design, how to make an intense tank battle game where, yeah. where, when you, where you control a tank in, in VR and to lower the motion sickness as much as possible. And plus I think just the stability of having so many people in one VR world Right, that, that adds another massive strain on the system. Yeah, totally. So we've decided to start from prototyping the basic mechanics mm -hmm. and we end up having more than 20 prototypes, of different okay. types. And then our partner company showed up, uh, now it's called Neurogaming, it's mm -hmm. a joint venture. And they've created a prototype which actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've took the basic mechanics from it, uh, added our expertise in game design, take our models and uh, all together with them we've created what you can experience today now. So basically it's a active tank combat where you control a tank, you are the tank you basically. Are the, so you, you are look the around tank. and the turret will turn, you, you fire, you move with your uh, controllers in your hand. Yes. Um, how extensive is um, you know the tank offering in terms of uh, you know compared to the actual PC game? So for now we have three tank classes: okay. light, medium, and uh, heavy tanks. Uh, one tank model in every class. Okay. And we are planning to expand it to like 20, 30 tank models. Okay. But we're not gonna have all the five or six hundred as the, in the original PC yeah. version yet. Yeah. So, um, how far along in development is this? When can people actually expect to get their hands on this outside of events like Gamescom? I'm sorry, I cannot, <laughs> cannot really announce you're gonna any, have to wait. any date. You're going to yeah. have to wait for a while because, you know, we always do it in our game and we, we want to make sure that... So, this game... is a super early, super exclusive look at World yeah. Attacks VR. Basically, it is an arcade version and we okay. want to complete this arcade version to get all the feedback from our players for, from press mm -hmm. to make it the best ever possible. Mm -hmm. And when it's ready, we release it in the market. All right, so we've got a super early build of World of Tanks VR. Tell me a bit about the hardware that we're running on. What are the VR devices that we've got? So basically, we are using a PCs uh, okay. with uh, 8,700 uh, 8, uh, Core i7 processors okay. and uh, GeForce 1080 okay. video wow. cards. 1080s. Wow. 1080s and also HTC Vive has this. Okay, and just the standard HTC, no third party uh, accessories? No, 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 standard has this, standard controllers. Our okay. goal was to to make all the system as simple as possible for using in our case. Okay, all right guys, so that's uh, what we've heard from the product manager himself. We'll jump into World of Tanks VR and see for ourselves what the game's about. You must destroy all enemy tanks. 